We are back, and we are going to have a... Thank you. Everybody's in a good mood tonight. Oh, I Is there a full moon? Wonderful. Yeah, uh, yes, there is. It's coming in two more days. Aha. That's it. You can always tell. People get uh, on edge or a little funky during oh, a full moon. Yeah. Crazy and wild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's as good as excuse as any, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's... We got a big lineup tonight. If you just joined us, I've mentioned George Siegel, Teresa Brewer, Monty Rock, That's Elliot good. Gould, and this gentleman. Some of you may be familiar with him from the Bob Newhart show. Uh, <laughs> if not, you can see Bob starting tomorrow night for four weeks at the Frontier in Las Vegas, where he's appearing with Paul Williams, Ray Stevens. If you have the misfortune of missing him there, he will also be appearing at Harris starting August the 6th. Uh, he will also be in our lobby right after the show, <laughs> selling jams and jellies and homemade fudge. Would you welcome Mr. Robert Newhart? sound like that's the only reason I'm here is, is to, because I'm going to Vegas for four weeks with Ray Stevens and Paul Williams and then Harris for two weeks. For two weeks. You go there after Las Vegas. Well, I was going to play them at the same time, but it's so hard to get a plane you know, back, <laughs> back and, and forth. forth. No, I don't think the only reason you come on the show well, is, to, is to do some cheap, uh, not cheap plugs, but I mean some, <laughs> uh, just to announce your itinerary, uh, that you would be that mercenary about it. I, I assume that you come here just to... Also, I've been on with almost every substitute host, uh, <laughs> except you, and I felt I really, you... I should come on and say hi. <laughs> and that's really all I would like to do, is just say hi and leave. And get out of here. That's possible. Now that you've got the plugs out of it. No, I, I think the least you can do is stay a few minutes and... Well, it's a doggy dog business, man. <laughs> 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 Did you hear that? Ovation? I mean, there's a saying, as you know, in our business, you be nice to people on the way up because you run into the same people on the way down, which happens to be, happens to be false. You run into entirely pe different people on the way down. Yeah. So there's little point in being nice to people on the way up. <laughs> That's right. I say smash. Whoever gets in your way, walk over them. Right the well, you've never had that in your career, though. You've uh, always been up there, right? Oh, no. There was a, there was a brief period. Yeah. <laughs> when, your show went, when your show went off the air. Yeah. The original show on CBS. First show, yeah. No, on NBC. Yeah. I know the feeling. That's happened to me also. And it is strange, isn't well, it? Well, it hasn't happened in 12 years. To you. Well, no, I've been lucky enough to have this. <laughs> Lucky's a good word. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess it'll do. I, <laughs> We've seen some of the specials in America and myself. <laughs> I, I sure wouldn't leave this part. <laughs> no, I, I got it made. Some huh? people, it's like a game show MC. I mean, you're, you're <laughs> destined to do one thing the rest of your life. And this, this is pretty much it for you. <laughs> At least you don't ring a bell and run over and say a honk and do a horn thing. I mean, you know. Um, did you ever do a game show? Never had one of those, huh? Uh, no. Uh, <coughs> I was offered one during that uh, twilight or the valley of uh, my career, uh, which was not that bad. It beat being an accountant. That's right, which you used to be. Which I used to be, yes. That's why I said it beat. Do you still keep your own books? I mean, no, I are you really good don't. Enough to, uh... Uh, I, um, I'm really not that good at it. I, I, uh, I wish I were. It is so uh, involved. I try to nod. I have an accountant, and he explains to me about, I don't know, tax things and. And I try to nod knowingly, but I really—I have no idea what he's talking about. It's like yeah. a foreign tongue. Yeah, I'm not good at that either. You mentioned you're working with um, Ray Stevens and who? Uh... Ray, well, I'm doing uh, two weeks with Paul Williams and then two weeks with Ray Stevens. They usually go on with a, uh, a pretty girl singer, don't you? Is yes, I work with Teresa, who's on tonight. Oh, she sounds sadly like her. Uh, I don't... Uh, I worked with Paul before. I've never worked with Ray before. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not... Uh, they're kind of... Uh, well, at least Ray is country and western which I'm really not, uh, I'm not into that. I'm Don't you not, dig that? Well, I, I enjoy it. I just, um, I, I don't understand people. Uh, I'm from Chicago, but I have relatives uh, from Kentucky. I don't understand people at all from 
uh, Louisiana and Georgia. I don't. <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking. Don't about. understand anything. About <clears throat> I was in the army with a guy named Gus O. Broussard from. Uh, That's got to be Louisiana. Campty, Louisiana. And was he a Cajun? Cajun, and he and we had the bunk next to each other. And every day he'd wake up. He spoke to me for two years in the army. To this day, I I have, haven't the slightest idea. What he was <laughs> That's funny you mentioned that because I said Cajun right away because I used to know a fellow because I was stationed for a while in Jackson, Mississippi, and I had a, a guy, hadn't heard from him in 20 some years, Manu Arsenault. Manu, uh, well, he's probably a good friend of Gus's. Gus's like uh, Versailles, the same thing, and they do have a, a rhythm in the, in the speech that is. Well, he would say, Drill, Dolph, may all the while rest. Nail, all the wall. And you say, Damn right, Gus, boy, that's so true. Everybody is doing that. Me all around. They all lay out. It sounds like a tape going backwards. Or something. <laughs> if he had been Paul Revere, we would still be under British rule. <laughs> he would have written through Boston. Like, Bell, don't. My way, I will You Jim Bell. Mm, yeah. What? Presley has a little of that, doesn't he? Oh. You know what? The, I don't mean to offend Doc, because I know this is. Uh, and I guess if That's you all raise, right. That's what he's here. Well, I guess. <laughs> I was, I was trying to be nice. Of course. <laughs> Everyone offends Doc, so why should I be? Uh, especially with numero uno, not even a substitute host. Uh, the country and western songs, and I'm going to offend a lot of people, but I, I must say it. I think it's one song. <laughs> they... No, they... <laughs> They changed the title, but it's the same song. The dog died and the wife left. <laughs> and I'm so lonely and yeah. And that's You are lonely. Mm, look out now. What? You must get in. We may have way. a hit right now. No. Just what we do. We just keep doing this. Well, I'm gonna cup of coffee. Railroad. If you get those in. <laughs> if you get a railroad shack, cup of coffee. <laughs> you know, or prison. Right. In the song. <laughs> so if you said, hey, a cup of coffee. Railroad track going by prison farm. You got a hit. Look out! Woo! Look out! Wow, she left me. Huh? <laughs> Johnny Cash will probably show up tomorrow night and break our face for saying that. Because you know, he's raw. He's he's. I heard that. I wouldn't fool with Johnny Cash. Well, he's... I don't plan to. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what'd you do in the service? You mentioned uh, being in the uh, in the army. You were in the army. Yes, uh, army. Yes. In, oh, yes, on our side. On our side. Yes. Uh, I was in the Korean War. I was in. Um, I was a clerk typist. I, I won't. I'm not going to lie about no, it. No, I wasn't uh, trying to embarrass you. Though we need uh, clerk typists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do. Well, <laughs> you could type up my discharge when I was uh, getting out of the front you lines. Get that's a probably what you did. Paper cut that, that would smart for a week. Yeah. But, you, yeah, but that's uh, that's not the important thing. I guess we all we all served and tried to do our thing. Of course we did. <laughs> how, how long did you go in as a as a private? I was drafted. Which I'm oh, I see. extremely proud of. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they came and got you, is what you're trying to say. They came and got me, and two years later, I left. <laughs> and as I was leaving, uh, my, they, they followed up the, my number. Uh, it was 5'6 instead of 5'5. Five five. And I was afraid to say anything for fear that there's some remote regulation that if they follow up your number, you can spend two more years in the Army. So I, so, I didn't say a thing. Just, yeah. It was not one of my. It, looking back, as I think uh, World War II, most people, it was a it was a marvelous experience. I'm glad I did it, uh, but I hated every minute of it. Didn't care. For it. Didn't care. For it. During the Korean War, it was not the one that all the people voted the benefits down on. That, that's the one I was in. You got no benefits. You were in the big one. Yes, uh, you, you're right about that. It was in the paper. Yeah. Well, no. I'll read the big one. Did you go to school <clears throat> on the GI Bill when you got out? Yes. Yes. I didn't know where you got that then. Yeah. Punch. Right along, don't you? Now a word from Toyota, small car specialist for 40 years. Oh, oh, oh. We are back. Uh, you, uh... I must say that the band has never sounded better. That's true. That's true. That's true. They are. You mentioned how you've been here with, when somebody's been sitting in as a guest host. You haven't hosted here for a while. No, I haven't. I, I did it for a while, as you know. Yes. And it's, uh, I'm not going to go through that whole thing about uh, how tough it is, but it is an extremely tough job. Uh, I was only there for three weeks, so to be there for a long time is really I, you have my admiration. I'm not going to bore people with that. Wow. 
Uh, well, you're, you're not boring me. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very, extremely tough job, and I, uh, I, Freddie has been kind enough to ask me to do it again, and when I have weeks off from the show, uh, that's not one of my favorite things, because, I mean, it, it is a very tough job. I was on, I was hosting one time, you were off, uh, for some reason. Uh, <laughs> you didn't feel like doing it, I guess. <laughs> That's what they told me. He didn't feel like doing it this week. I don't, no one could reach you. They didn't want, he was in Florida or something. Uh, and I, I, Jenny, I, it was in New York, and I called my wife, Jenny. And I call her Jenny anyway. But I'm, uh, I called her on the phone, and I said, what How else would you? I would speak every night to Jenny. And uh, she said, I broke my toe. And I said, uh, well, what did you do? She said, I was in the shower, and I tripped and broke my toe. And I said, well, what did you do about it? And she said, I called a doctor, and he said, um, he said, well, try to stay off it as much as you can Good. and try not to bump into things with it. <laughs> and I said, what did that cost? And she said, $50. <laughs> and I said, you could have stopped a wino in the street. And he said, I just broke my toe, and he would have given virtually the same advice, try to stay off it and try not to bump into things. And I got a note from a doctor, and he said, I know it sounds strange, that kind of advice, but you have to understand that patients are strange also. And he explained to me that they, uh, sometimes before surgery, uh, patients have to take uh, an enema. And it comes in a, in a plastic square container. And doctors found it necessary to print on the outside of the square plastic container that they should remove it <laughs> before using it. Remove, uh, remove it from the plastic square container oh, before using it. <laughs> because they were getting uh, patients coming in with strange expressions. <laughs> their, their so, eyes crossed. I just sort of evening it up with doctors. <laughs> I wasn't making fun of doctors, but I guess they have their problems too. Yeah, I, did, I didn't realize that. I, I know what you're talking about. You, that there's a... It's inside the, the plastic. Do you have a paper or something? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I mean, they, they understood. I know, it. I'm slow today. Oh. I've been here a long time, yes. and your, your brain sometimes uh, short circuits when you do this. <laughs> we, you just said this is not easy, and I'm yes. not proving it. Well, you're certainly not. <laughs> you know, you think it's easier than that. <laughs> then I'm making it look at the present time. Sometimes you have to make it look difficult <laughs> to justify uh, with them paying you each week, so sometimes I stumble around and make it look uh, extremely hazardous. Um, what were we talking? We're talking something about I don't re know. retirement. No, during the commercial. <clears throat> oh, I had mentioned to you, I'm sort of identified. I got a letter uh, uh, from a, a young girl when I was I'm doing the show, and she said, my parents said they saw you in Bridgeport, Connecticut about 15 years ago. I had done a concert there, and she said, I didn't realize you did anything before the Bob Newhart show. Isn't that strange when you go the cycle again? But she was like 15 or 16 years old, and there's no reason she should, and it, and it kind of shocked me. And so I would like to do a routine. Now, this is not one of the, the ones I'm maybe identified with. The, the classic. Well, I wouldn't call them classics. Well, I would call them I, Well, I, I, I told I, it it's a very difficult job, so I guess I it's, think it's some of the fair for you to say I these are classics. I think the driving instructor, I think uh, the, uh, the Abraham Lincoln press agent, all those things, the Khrushchev visit, those are classic pieces, really. Those don't come along you know, very often. Retirement party. They're great. They're great. Sir Walter Raleigh. Those are wonderful. All of those. <laughs> some of those you'll be doing at the frontier. <laughs> once you're open no, tomorrow I, night. I don't do th This is a thing on... Uh, there was an item in the paper, because the funniest things in life are always the true things. I'm sure you found that also. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you have or not, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> That's right. This is just kind of... Or doc this, this, well, is anyway. this is the set. Yes. Right. This is the set. <laughs> what we call a set. Uh, there was an item in the paper that they had actually, the United States government had given $300 to witch doctors because they had found out that there was some validity to some things witch doctors had been doing for years. And the routine is based on a witch doctor functioning as a doctor in the United States might function. All right. So, phone ring. It's about 3 in the morning. <laughs> I hope this works. I do, too. Because <laughs> it's a question. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Yeah, uh, yes, Mr. Crumba. No, no, that's all right. I, I would have been getting up in five, six more hours anyway. <laughs> what, what seems to be the problem? 
the sheep are dying and your son is seeing demons. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of that going around. <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry about it. It sounds like a 24-hour curse to me. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, just, uh, do you have any uh, uh, bark of a tree that was struck by lightning in the light of a full moon around the house? <laughs> yeah, you might grind some of that up and put it under his pillow tonight. Yeah. And then call me in the morning if he isn't feeling better. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, you might, uh, might try burying him uh, under a tree uh, where a lot of hyenas uh, congregate. <laughs> Well, it won't help them, but sometimes their laughter becomes infectious and it, <laughs> it might cheer them up. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, Mrs. Crumb, but I don't make house calls anymore. Um, well, I tell you what, I haven't danced around a hut in so long, I really don't think I... <laughs> well, they're very similar dances, and uh, one is a rain dance, and it might rain for three or four days, so I, I'd be afraid to try it, you know? Well, if he isn't better by Wednesday, uh, let me give you a number, uh, 452-0617. Now, that isn't the office, that's the country club. Yeah. <laughs> Another clap. Another... That's funny. Funny premise. Funny premise. We'll be back. We have a word here, and then uh, stay with us. George Siegel will join us. Elliot Gould, Teresa Brewer, and Money Rock.